So this is called elastic potential energy. Elastic potential energy is the potential of an object to spring back into its original shape. So for a spring, for example, if we push it together, then we're giving it potential energy. And when we were to let go, it, that potential energy would turn into kinetic energy and it would spring back into the shape that it started in. It turns out we can do the same thing if we start off by stretching the spring. Once again, the potential energy that we'll give it will be able to make it snap back into its original shape. So when a spring is squeezed or stretched, it gains elastic potential energy. And when we release it, it will lose that potential energy and convert it into kinetic energy. Remember, with the conversion of uh, energy, we cannot create or destroy energy. We can only change it into different forms. Chemical potential energy is the potential of uh, an object to react in a chemical way. We use this sort of thing a lot in chemical reactions, if you do chemistry. In a reaction that absorbs heat energy, called an endothermic reaction, it means that the system will be gaining chemical potential energy. You're putting heat into a system and it's being used up by the system. And what's happening is that heat energy is being stored as chemical potential energy. It means that we have a new sort of chemical that has that potential energy stored up inside it. This potential energy can be converted into electrical energy or into heat energy. If you have a conductor chemical uh, experiment where you get energy released, it means that by changing into a different sort of chemical, uh, the chemical that you start with is losing its chemical potential energy and converting that to heat. In the case of a battery, instead of converting the chemical potential energy to heat, the chemical reaction produces electricity. Finally, we have gravitational potential energy, which is what we'll be focusing on the most while we're studying space and gravity in particular. Gravitational potential energy is the potential of an object to fall. If an object is capable of falling, or even of rolling down a hill, then it will have gravitational potential energy. When an object is lifted above the ground, it gains potential energy. We can see this uh, ball over here. As it moves up from the ground, its in potential energy increases. At the same time, it gets slower and slower, which means that its kinetic energy decreases. So it means that the kinetic energy of the uh, object is being transformed into potential energy. Uh, the movement of the ball is being changed into a potential for the ball to fall down. And so when a ball does fall down, it's converting that potential energy that it has hanging in the air into kinetic energy. And in doing so, it loses all of its potential energy as it transforms into kinetic energy.